Good morning, everybody. I haven't done a makeup and coffee in a long time. I'm sitting here in my dark room on an overcast morning and I'm getting ready for an ortho appointment. Um, so I was like, let's just have some fun. Let me just have some fun and do a moody get ready with me. So let's do that. Hello to me, homegirls, if I haven't said it yet. All right, let's get into it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wear concealer today. I think I've done this before getting ready to go to the orthodontist. This is the Sephora Bright Future Concealer. I have it in the color Pote Creme. And <clears throat> I like to wear this one. I'm not wearing the base because it's the perfect color. It's really nice. Every time I wear this, I'm like, why don't I wear this more? Because I don't really do no makeup makeup. I only wear no makeup makeup to the ortho because I'm not supposed to be wearing makeup to the ortho. Because they be all up on my face. Um, my makeup ends up on their gloves. So um, I'm not supposed to be wearing makeup <laughs> there. I could have just went bare face, but I really, really, really love the ritual, especially at this point in my life, of getting dolled up to go everywhere that I go. Like, I'm truly in a true feminine bag right now, and I love dolling myself up. Don't get it twisted. I think I look amazing without makeup on. Um, I just think I look better without makeup on. I look younger. Um, but it's just the ritual of like obsessing over myself and my face for like a good 15, 20 minutes. It, my spirit likes it. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm telling you, every time I use this concealer, I... I have the same reaction because I never use it, but it's just so beautiful on my bare skin. Such a nice, such a nice concealer. I think this is discontinued, honestly. I was just using a Dirty Puff. This is also a Dirty Nikki LaRose N16. This is her concealer brush and it's perfect. It's a duo fiber. So it's perfect for um, getting the edges, blending the edges into the skin. I love this moody. Get ready with me. I love my best friend used to do her makeup in the dark all the time. I was like, what is wrong with you crazy? But I get it. All right, I'm going to set this. I'm not sure with what. Oh, I'll use my Kosas Cloud Set in Silky. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna use it with this. This is a Moda brush. It's a contour brush, but I like it for um, under eye powder. Um, I am gonna do <clears throat> an eye look again i'm just at a place in my life where i just can't not do an eye look like it's it's wild to me so we're gonna do something we're gonna use my um color pop harry potter palette i don't know what it is but every time i go to the or orthodontist office i always use that palette that palette i feel like i always use it um for like appointments <laughs> and maybe i should wear a little bit of blush i should i was thinking about blush earlier so i am gonna wear some blush i want to get more colors of of the um elf camo liquid blush i want a pink one do i want to wear this orange one Yeah, 
let's do it that wasn't what i was thinking i was thinking pink but i can wear this i don't think i've ever put this blush over powder before that was in gorge orange this blush is literally one of the best things elf ever made but i've said this before i think elf's hero products are the primers and the blushes they ate this up this is so beautiful it's insane i want to do um a full face of elf y'all know i love elf i stand elf every day on this channel um I just need, I want to pick up the that new foundation and I want to get that new brow gel and see what they are hitting on. This is so pretty. Hey. Do I want to set this with powder? That is the question. No, we will not. That's gorge. All right, sometimes when I'm wearing light makeup, it's difficult for me to figure out what I want to do to my brows Ooh, we'll just wear um we'll just wear the elf lift what's it called brow lift I love this stuff this is the elf brow lift it's just a clear gel it's so damn good. I really do want to do um, a full face of e.l.f. Um, this is also the e.l.f. Brow Lift Applicator. I brought them together. You just pick up the product on the spatula end. And then what I like to do is I like to start under my eye and or under my eyebrow. And apply it in upwards motions like I'm going for lamination, so that's what I'm doing. I'm laminating the eyebrows in my face, and you can already see. Like, if if you wear a matte base, you may not enjoy this because this this kind of has like a juicy finish. I don't want to call it a matte finish. Um, it is a formula you have to be careful with like this works because I don't have a base on if you're familiar with me you know I usually eyebrows is sort of like on the tail end of the of my routine my makeup routine so if you have a base on and you're or maybe if you do your brows first I guess it doesn't matter but I don't do my brows first so I can't always wear this so you apply it from the bottom, then I run the product through with the spoolie, have it going the direction I want it. And that's a gorgeous and natural brow. I love it, absolutely love. I don't think I'm gonna do anything past that. I really like this for like low makeup. Easy, I love an easy brow, honey. Cause you can spend your all your time working on your brows. I don't, I don't play that. This is gonna be a short video, which is nice because I can't make short videos. I struggle with short videos. When I'm not wearing um, a lot of makeup and I'm letting my skin shine through, I like to use this as my um, eyeshadow primer. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer, and it's just clear. So, just gonna apply it to the lids. Just to make my eye, I don't, I don't usually wear eyeshadow without something underneath. I have hooded lids. I need some sort of something to make me feel like <laughs> this eyeshadow is not gonna go anywhere. What brush should I use to smooth this out? <sighs> I'm really overdue for brush cleaning. I use this little Real Techniques brush just to press it into the skin. I'm not going to do anything crazy, honestly. 
just gonna let the palette tell me. I might just like angle a brown into the outer corner and then there's this shade in there that I really like that I usually use all the time on low makeup days. Probably gonna use that. Just getting her out. Harry Potter back to Hogwarts. My favorite ColourPop palette. This is the cover. This is the inside. It's supposed to look like a book, but I kind of like, I see it like this. And I kind of see it broken down into cool tones and warm tones. And I love this palette more than I can express. I really am at the end of my row with brushes. I don't have very many. I thought I had my backup brushes. Oh, they're right here in front of me. I am tripping. I'm gonna use this Spectrum BO4 and I'm gonna go into this shade Great Haul, which is a really pretty, just like true brown. And I'm just gonna It's not gonna pop off too much. I just want a little bit of structure to the eye prior to putting on the lid shade. I feel like this is always the look I wear. When I go to the ortho, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's really just like an eye contouring that I'm doing here. And I'm doing it in a shade that matches my skin. So, it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's cool. I'm actually going to take the same brush. Just wipe it off on my switch. You know what? Maybe I should use my finger. Yeah, so this shade Invisibility Cloak, I use it all the time. It's so pretty. Just put that all over the lid. With my fingy. It's just really pretty. It's like, it's not too loud, but it's kind of like this really pretty bronzy color. Invisibility Cloak is a great name for it. It's so gorgeous and low key. I love it on my bare skin. It's just the right amount of sparkle without being extra. Love her to bits. Do I want to do something in the inner corner? This is like the prettiest inner corner shade, this Lumos color. I really don't need anything in the inner corner, but I truly am such an extra bitch. I don't know how to chill. I'm gonna take this pencil brush. This is a Blend Bunny B2. I'm gonna take this gold shade called Golden Snitch and highlight my inner corner. I'm wearing like this dress with neutral yeah, neutral, kind of earthy colors. So, all right. I want this to look well blended, so I'm gonna wipe this pencil brush off on the switch. And I'm gonna go back into Invisibility Cloak. Can't see what I'm doing, sorry. 
um, with a brush. This invisibility cloak, bleh, <laughs> invisibility cloak is um, it's a very squishy formula. Like that's why I used my fingers, cause it's like I don't know. I don't know if like I do own a super shock. It doesn't feel like the super shock that I own, but yeah, it doesn't feel like a typical shadow. It has a lot of moisture content to it. It's very squishy. So I'm just blending the inner corner gold in with the lid shade. Have them be friends. Do I want to wear a brown liner? I might. Bitch, I might. Oh, I think that's so pretty. I love this palette, y'all. I think that's it. Would I would like to use any of these shades as a highlighter? Golden Cinch is just so bright. You know what? Let's see what happens if I try to use her as a highlighter. I have no chill, y'all. I don't know. Up underneath the eyebrow. Ooh, I gotta want um my spring magic. Oh, did I say what I'm doing? I, I just did a little bit of golden snitch on this is a Morphe V204 uh from the vegan pro series, whatever. And just lightly a little bit. I even like tap the excess off my hand first. Putting it on the face. Highlighting. I like to highlight the top lip. This final touch is time. I don't know what I want to do for final touches. I don't know if I want to wear an eyeliner or even put lashes on. I kind of want to do both. <laughs> um, I got, I went to Daiso um, the other day. Daiso is like, I don't know. Kind of like an asian store i guess everything's like super cheap and i got these really pretty natural eyelashes let me show you they're so wispy so non-existent part of me is like girl the the um The ortho does not deserve all this effort. I don't know what to do. I could just put on some mascara. I'm going about my day. That's what I'm gonna do. I always choose not to wear lashes. I hate putting lashes on. It's one of my least favorite things of makeup. <coughs> I'm gonna use the Essence um, Black Brown Lash Princess. I think this makeup is really pretty. I need to do makeup like this more often, but we just have, or look at me putting, putting wheat. <laughs> I have so much makeup. It feels weird when I'm not using it. So I just use it. <laughs> yeah. And I just love getting dolled up. But the orthodox is kind of like forces me to scale back on the makeup. Yeah, that, that invisibility cloak shade is unmatched. It's so pretty. 
I'm gonna have to um I guess throw some selfies up in in this video because again we're having a moody vampy get ready with me in my dimly lit bedroom on an overcast day so it's dark you're not getting what this makeup actually is so i'll make sure you see what's actually going on yeah this mascara always makes me feel really pretty <laughs> great mascara and then one of my favorite things about low makeup days is just throwing on the gloss this is the glam light um barbie lip gloss it's just like a golden a clear with like gold glitter in it all right that's it um this is my little no makeup makeup i hope you enjoyed i'm working on videos i'm working on an audience eye video um i did the intro i just haven't done the looks yet so i'll be back i'll see you guys soon i hope you enjoyed this i'm very happy to be putting up a quick video um let me know what you want to see from me i'll see you guys soon have a great day bye 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 oh i might post a uh, new band color i have purple i'm thinking pink so i'll show y'all i'll show y'all pictures and stuff peace and love bye, -bye.